In this video, we'll talk about marketing cloud roles, how to create roles, how to delete roles, and how to view who is assigned to specific roles. So let's get started. So to get to roles in Marketing Cloud, you'll click this roles button here under account settings inside the admin section of Email Studio. To create a new role, come up here and click create. Give the role a name. You can choose to give the role an external key, but this will auto populate if you don't. And you can choose to give it a description. You don't have to here, but I'd advise you to. It's best practice so you know what this role is for. And then we have our permissions here. So let's say for this role, we want to allow everything for audience builder. We can just come here and click allow. This will give us access to everything under audience builder if we click the plus signs under audience builder. We see that everything is clicked here. That's because we clicked the very top checkbox here. If we unclick it, we take everything away. But if you want to give granular access, you need to open up these different plus and minus boxes underneath Audience Builder. And if you click right next to General here for this checkbox, it gives access, admin rights, configuration tools, and create rights to everything under General. If you want to get even more granular and just allow admin or something like access, you need to click the checkbox associated with that permission. And the same holds true for every other section in Marketing Cloud. The same goes with deny. If you click deny at the top of Audience Builder, everything is denied in Audience Builder. So the same concept applies here. If you click deny next to general, everything under general will be denied. If you go even more granular, then you can just deny access or deny admin or vice versa or whatever you want. If, for example, you click this checkbox next to general and you allow everything here, everything that is not checked for allow is going to default to deny, even if you don't click deny. So just remember, if it's not checked under allow, it defaults to deny even though it's not checked. Deny just 100% makes sure that you have denied everything relating to that specific marketing cloud area. And you can choose to expand every single part in marketing cloud here and we can see all of these different areas in Marketing Cloud. And as we can see, there's a lot to look at here. So I'd advise you, if you're creating a role, to know exactly what you want, and then just go to directly what you want to allow access to, or to deny access to. And when you're done with that, you'll click Save, and that new role will be created. If you want to delete a role, you'll click the checkbox next to the role and click Delete. If you want to view assignments for a specific role, you'll click that checkbox next to the role name and click View Assignments. And you can check out the users that are in that role, the business units in that role, and the users in that role in specific business units. So you can see which user has that role and you can see which business unit they're assigned to while they're using that role. And if you want to go back to the main roles page, you can either click this roles link here or this roles link here. I'll click this roles link here and we're back to our roles. And that's how you navigate the roles tab under account settings under the admin tab of Email Studio.